Warming of the climate is unmistakable, with observed increases in global average air, ground and ocean temperatures, widespread melting of ice and rising sea levels, and subsequent changes in rainfall patterns. According to the fourth assessment report of the Intergovernmental Panel on Climate Change, human activity combined with natural variations is causing and contributing to these changes. Lao PDR, commonly Lao, is a landlocked country covering a total area of 236,800 square kilometres. Besides Thailand and Vietnam, it borders Myanmar, Cambodia and China. Being a country of watersheds and water catchments, Laos is by nature heavily exposed to climate variability and change. It regularly faces flooding caused by heavy rainfall during the rainy season, drought caused by extended dry seasons, sudden flash floods in the mountainous parts of the country, landslides and large-scale land erosion on slopes, occasional windstorms and recently typhoons in the south. As sudden events or on singular occasion, they can be very destructive, not only altering the landscape, but also destroying public infrastructure, property, productive land and upcoming harvests. Under these circumstances, more significant are long-term changes in the ecology of flora, fauna and soils, as well as changing water regimes governing human settlement and agricultural production. There are many ways that Laos is being negatively affected by climate change. In response, and in order to deal with these negative effects, Laos has identified diversified agriculture, sustainable forestry, effective water management and improved health conditions as priority adaptation measures. Historically, because of full and dense coverage by forest and other protective vegetation and low population pressures, the landscape has exhibited considerable natural resilience to these climate hazards. But in recent times, major physical modifications of mountains and hills that result from logging, quarrying, road construction and some unsuitable forms of slash and burn cultivation or monoculture oriented agricultural production have hindered natural resilience and altered topography, now serving as entry points for wind and water erosion. In many parts of the country, such interventions have either created fresh problems of flooding and erosion or exacerbated existing ones. Historically, the negative effects of environmental change have been reduced or overcome through centuries-old coping mechanisms used by farmers, fishers, hunters and gatherers. However, climate change is working at an unprecedented rate to change the frequency, intensity and location of existing climate hazards and challenge the existing coping mechanisms of the farmers and the whole population, especially those living in rural and remote places. Poor farmers have become some of the most vulnerable in society, while the traditional resilience of the agriculture sector and adaptive skill in food production in general has been diminished. The people of Lao PDR are particularly vulnerable to climate change because 80% of the population of Lao is involved in some form of agriculture. In addition to worsening the instability of subsistence agriculture, changes in temperature and humidity have brought new pests and diseases to animals and plants that are unknown to farmers. Rice, the primary crop, is mostly grown for home consumption and only surplus production is sold on the market. Some known rice varieties no longer grow under new climatic conditions and seeds for adaptive rice varieties are difficult to get. 30% of Laotians are threatened by annual food shortages. Climate change has emerged as a major factor worsening the instability of subsistence agriculture and threatening the resilience of monoculture-oriented modern agricultural systems. The climate data available shows a polarisation of seasonal water flows in the Mekong River. Some are drier and others wetter. Specifically, the fourth assessment report of the Intergovernmental Panel on Climate Change found that over the course of this century, the Mekong Basin is expecting increasing maximum monthly flows and decreasing minimum monthly flows, which will substantially increase flooding risks in the wet season and water scarcity in the dry season. Recently, less predictable arrivals of the wet and dry season are disturbing traditional planting schedules and subsequently reducing rice yields. The classical local approaches to coping with flood and drought are becoming less and less appropriate and effective. 
หนึ่งก็เจ้าว่าจะนานเนาะส่วนลังไล่เนี่ยเขาจอกันมันว่ามันเดือนนี้นะว่าเรื่องมันธรรมศาสตร์เนาะมันมันมันเปลี่ยนแปลงไปนะเนาะเรื่องเรื่องเพื่อกับท่วมลายบางท่วมกับแห้งแรงสินะเนาะอันนี้ก็มันเปลี่ยนแปลงไปด้วยธรรมศาสตร์นี่แน่เนาะว่าเปลี่ยนแปลงไปด้วยธรรมศาสตร์อะไรเนี่ยคือตะกี้เนี่ยเขามาเบิ้งแล้วก็พ้นตกมันก็หรือว่าตกบ่อทึกตองตามระดูการกับมีนะเนาะบางพาเหตุให้นําท่วมลายเนี่ยบางเชือกแห้งแรงไล่สินะเนาะมันก็บ่ตรงกันสินะเนาะมันเป็นคืนนั้นเว่าเรื่องนั้นระบบนิเวศของพวกเขาอย่างนั้นเนาะแต่มันจะเกิดขึ้นมาจากการเปลี่ยนแปลงของอุณหภูมิโลกหรือมันจะเกิดขึ้นมาจากการตัดไม้ทำลายป้านี้พวกเขาก็คิดคิดมามาเบิ้งแล้วมันมันคงจะเม็ดนแต่ว่าจะปรับตัวขึ้นเอาได้ยุภายในอันบ้านบางทุ่มพวกเขานี้พวกเขาก็ยังยังคิดคิดไปนะพวกเขาบริจาคกรรมที่เฮ็ดเด้แต่ว่าคันท้าว่ามันนักมีคืนอันนี้ฟ้าฝนตกมาพวกเขาก็ได้กินเนาะถ้าว่าบริจาคฟ้าฝนมาพวกเขาก็บริจาคมันมีแนวนี้จะซื้อ Food security in Lao is being impacted by varying cultural factors and traditions and the general standards of technical agricultural capacity. Deciding when to plant is often influenced by local knowledge and practices. มีมีเขาติดตามอากาศเลยอันเราติดตามอันที่งมวยเขาแดนเนาะอันพระเจ้าเจ้าคำเฮียวอยู่อันดงคำเฮียวผลิตเนี่ยเนาะเราอันปีแล้วนี่เดือนห้าแต่ละปีเดือนหกเนาะเพิ่นไปจุดบางไฟแล้วเพิ่นไปถามถามว่าปีนี้ฝนไหลอ่ะฝนน้อยเขาได้ไปถามเนื้อนันพุ่นอ่ะหาเจ้าคำเฮียวเขานะเราเพิ่นว่าโอ้ปีหน้านี่ฝนไหลเดือนน้อยสีเขาเห็ดขันห้าไปหาเพิ่นแล้วเพิ่นบอกก่อปีหน้าในฝนปีแล้วในเพื่อนว่าน้อยสุปุกเข้ากับบริกินแหละฝนลายโพดวะชิผีคำเฮียวท่านคือเขาไปหาแล้วคือเว้ากับคนเฮาเลยเราคันปุกแล้วสุปุกแต่หัวปีเด้อปุกล่าเรานําท่วมเลยแล้วก็เกี่ยมแต่หัวปีเลยนะบางเฮาเห็ดซํานันแล้วบางปีก็ได้สิบไปเป้าบางเทือกได้เช้าบางเทือกได้เจ็ดแปดเป้าคันเฮาบริติดตามเนื้อนั้นเลยบริปุกเลยป้าดินเป้าเลย Ideally, local knowledge about climate, weather, and conditions should be coupled with institutional knowledge, human and technical resources, and adequate communication infrastructure. However, Laos' current capacity for communications and gathering climate data is insufficient, which makes it difficult to keep the farmers and villagers informed of impending droughts or floods. If we would like to uh, spread the information, we need to help the equipment. We have the technology. For example, when this uh, typhoon or storm came, we should know exactly what time, what even the minute. Thang thala that phong phang khao an thala that phun va. Mưa ni mưa nan phun tok de la hao ko sau con bo lok ca thua. Khan pha cha leng de phun cha mat la hao ko kheo lok kheo het loi. Hao ti tam a can nan khoi dai sip pao sau pao. Khan bo ti tam la bo dai puk loi. Sometimes the low level of agricultural mechanization makes it difficult to expedite farm works and harvesting at the right time in order to minimize the impact of a flood or drought. Pan ma ni ka yung yak yu no pan ma pa son het ka beb ao heng an su no beb ao hau yang bahan mi teknik no ka bo mi han mi bat hu no thi vi thay sát na no khao ma suay ni san thu ba het ka het beb tham ma sát ni san thu ba ka. Many foods that could potentially be grown locally are imported, and there's a great desire to diversify the local production, especially by smallholder farmers. อาหารเนาะอาหารเป็นสินป้านี่นะเนาะที่ปอนตลาดในพานมานี่ก็ถือว่าส่วนไล่กับเขาก็เอามาจากประเทศต่างประเทศคือว่าและเนาะหรือว่าเอามาจากเมืองอื่นเนาะที่ว่ามาปอนตลาดบ้านเฮานี้เนาะสันถือว่าก็ยังให้ทั้งทึ่งเนี่ยซวยเนาะให้โครงกันเนี่ย สวยบานเฮาเกี่ยวกับการเลี้ยงเนาะก็เป็นเลี้ยงป้าบอเลี้ยงกบเลี้ยงไก่เลี้ยงหมูนี่นะเนาะที่ว่าปลาส้นเ
The way in which land is used is a very important factor for long-term climate change adaptation. Some land use practices are exposing soil to the threat of erosion and follow-on effects such as increased volume of runoff during periods of heavy rain and reduced fertility or progressing deforestation. Before, of course, the people thinking only uh, select and burn cultivation, so they cut a lot of the forest or something for the growing rice or something. But now uh, our authority, our government should, should have some, some zone, this one for, for make, but limited, like a rotation. Cannot, you cannot select and burn far away, you know. For example, you planted this area and next, next uh, year you, you put another and you turn back, go around. <laughs> To promote resilience in the agricultural sector, vulnerable areas need assistance in improving the knowledge base on climate change, strengthening of agriculture and rural sector policies and developing of institutional capacities so that systematic and long-term adaptation planning can be carried out. At the same time, appropriate and adaptive agricultural practices are to be introduced on the ground, together with measures to introduce alternative livelihood options for poor rural communities. The IRAS project objective is to minimise food insecurity resulting from climate change in Lao PDR and to reduce the vulnerability of farmers to extreme flooding and drought events. Addressing these issues, and dedicated to improving the resilience of the agriculture sector to climate change impacts, the IRAS project is engaged at three levels to address drought in the Savanakhet province and floods in the Zayabudi province. At the farmer level, it promotes an agroecological system approach, combining traditional and modern methods with a focus on sustainable agricultural techniques, diversification of crops and livestock, and effective and efficient water management. Monocultures should be replaced by integrated agricultural systems, using a variety of crops, vegetables, livestock, fish and aquatic culture, or mixed agroforestry systems, adaptive to the current climate in the region, with the capability to evolve further when future changes are to be anticipated. The information we give uh, to them, we try to uh, plant it, the right variety, especially the Tadokam uh, 1, th uh, Tadokam 8, and Tadokam 11. And we saw that the result of that uh, is higher than the, they use the local uh, อ่าไรซีดถัดคันท่าว่ามีระดูระดูฝนเนาะเค้าก็สามารถเก็บน้ําหักท่าใบไซในระดูแรงงั้นที่ว่าสามารถนําไซเข้าในเวียงงานกับ
The rainfall is increasing and becoming more erratic, with some places facing drought and some encountering floods. This UNDP-supported project, financed by the Global Environment Facilities Least Developed Countries Fund, is implemented by the National Agriculture and Forestry Research Institute, NAFRI, under the overall leadership and direction of the Ministry of Agriculture and Forestry. Climate resilient agriculture in Laos will help to protect livelihoods and nutrition, and increased yields on a diversified range of products will advance the economic situation of the poorest households as well as the wider economy. Improvements in data analysis and communication will help to predict future extreme weather events, helping to safeguard farmers and villagers from the threat of unexpected flood and drought and the subsequent lack of food left in the wake of a climate disaster. The EDAS project works closely with international donors, other projects and community groups.